Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartucci. And we're going to be spooling up this Ambassador 7000 with Holocore Braid by Tightline Holocore. Um, now, we are always doing our line spooling videos for the library so we can build up a library of knowledge of line capacity for each type of reel with each type of line and now we're doing it even more we're taking it even more in depth by Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Showing you the knowledge That can and will Help you out in the long run So for example We're putting the 65 pound In red As a backing And it's the inner backing for line capacity so that way when the fisherman is getting taken down to this amount at least he'll know how much line capacity he has left on the reel which will help him out in the long run in case he has to make a, some kind of drastic decision you know because most people don't want to lock down their reel at the beginning of a fight they want to allow it to play and this and that sometimes <clears throat> you get that big enough fish that you're giving him too much slack and he takes you all the way down to your lower line capacities and in doing that or in us doing this it gives those fishermen the ability to know hey I need to stop this fish before I get to my knot and I've got 50 yards or 100 yards depending on the size of reel and where they want this marking at so um, this is something that we've started doing with a lot a lot of our reels and our customers are really really grateful on it because like I said several of them have already hit that that marking and have, it has helped them with their landing their fish so with having this kind of knowledge on the reel while you're fishing is always a plus because you're not having to sit there and second guess yourself on how much line you got left if a monster fish is on there and it's pulling you down you'll be able to say okay I just hit my 50 yard mark or 100 yard mark and I need to really knuckle down and do something or I could lose this monster catch so this is a great opportunity for everybody that is new to the channel and if you are not subscribed yet you need to subscribe hit that like button or a thumbs up button and definitely check out the rest of our spooling videos we got all kinds of fishing knowledge fishing from Galveston to South Padre all the way up to the Trinity and definitely going to be looking for more styles of fishing or more places to fish as soon as we can get more stuff locked down here at the shop as we also own Hard Lives Bait and Tackle and it is definitely a wealth of knowledge at our disposal and we are also learning every single time we do a spooling video it definitely gives us the ability to learn something new like this little notch is being a pain in the butt <laughs> and as you can tell I'm not using it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my line here to um, protect the braid because even going right here I can feel how sharp that inner core inner line is right there or the head of that bolt is so by doing this I am actually going to ensure that no braid will get uh, cut off as it is pulled onto the reel and pushed around this so give me a second guys I need to get a few more strands over here And yes, I do not like using braid or monofilament or tape on when I'm attaching my braid to my spool. And the reason for that is because I don't want any kind of slippage where everybody's always under the assumption, hey, you need mono to tie your braid to your spool. Well, yeah, you can get it to tie it to the spool, but what's going to end up happening with monofilament? It's going to stretch. 
and it's still going to cause a lot of problems down the road and or if it's not tied properly to the braid it'll pop off as y'all have seen in many many of our videos that another tackle shop will tie real light test line of monofilament to their braid on their spool and then they get down to that knot and it pops right off well i'll tell you what i've landed some big fish by um, fighting the fish all the way down to the knot and was able to turn them so and you will also see here i'm not using the worm guide and the reason i don't use the worm guide is because it's uh it's a real thin sheet of metal it's two little clips two little um uh, nails or fingers uh, as you would call them and they slide up and down this groove on the back side of this worm right here and it governs how much line you can put on the reel but that's not the only thing is I don't want to prematurely wear out this worm guide before the customer even has it and actually this is a brand new reel so it should not happen on the first time spooling it but I'm putting a lot more pressure on this than they would when they're fishing so that way I can keep the line all nice and tight and now I'm going to go and get it spooled up. And you can see that my fingers are on the braid. I do this because I want to touch every single inch of this line to make sure that I don't, or to make sure that if I see or find any uh, imperfections in the line, I can get it off or correct it, so that way they can uh, ensure that whatever line they're fishing with is 100% good to go. <clears throat> and I guarantee we're the only company more than likely in the world that does this. We've had real shipped to us from all over, as far as China, South Africa, Australia. They've shipped us reels so we can do this pulling. And several times it was because they were trying to call, uh, call us out saying that we cannot get that kind of line capacity on the reel. And yet to this day, we have had anybody call us back and say damn you're lying or whatever you know because uh, we didn't have that line capacity on the reel after we down spooled and re-spooled it they have actually called us back because they couldn't get the line back onto the reel <laughs> so they never even got to hit those higher numbers so we've been teaching our knowledge all over the world by our spooling videos you know giving everybody a true insight to what the reels are capable of doing and yes on here um, not following the worm guide on reeling but that's not really something to worry about unless they hook a big monster but even then too i'm so far back off the top end of the spool that it doesn't matter and the reason i say it doesn't matter is because they'll be able to get all the line back onto the reel no worries even after a big fish is taking it all out there's still enough uh, capacity between the top end of the spool and the housing for that to happen even though the line is governed with a worm on there it ensures that you can land that monster fish when you hook up into it so, now i can't guarantee the worm guide's going to last that long but this, this braid most definitely will And this, that worm guide is an issue with all reels that have it. It's something that, um, like I said, it, it goes through tens of thousands of rotations and, and it's, gonna, it's just normal wear and tear, you know? So, it's not saying that this specific reel has a problem. All reels that have that worm guide have always dealt with that issue. Here we go, we're gonna go and get it finished cooling up. Go ahead and take off the clicker.
250 yards on there of 65. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on to 80 pound as a top shot. All right guys, so I've got 340 yards of line on this rail between 65 to 80 pound tubs. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and feed my line through the worm guide to ensure that the line does not get over, over, under wrapped while in transit. We will, be, we will be shipping out the rail to the customer and I'm trying to get it out before the postman comes by. So let's see if I can make that happen. And that's another reason too right there. It doesn't really matter where the line falls on the reel compared to the worm guide because every time you free spool it, the, it'll be somewhere else other than where it needs to be compared to the line that went out. But there you go. Ambassador 7000 spooled with tight line hollow core braid with enough line capacity between the top housing and the inner uh, guide bars of the reel so when he casts he does not backlash 340 yards <laughs> 